Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to J3 Entertainment. You guys know what time it is. Time to react, y'all. Yes, it is, brother. And what are we reacting to today? Moon Knight, episode five, Asylum. Now, after watching that last episode, I know exactly why they're calling this the Asylum. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to get some trippy, crazy stuff. I'm here for it. It's been great so far. I like the trippiness. Heck yeah. In the MCU. And you know it's what? Refreshing. Watching this, that last episode and how that ended reminded yeah. me a lot of Legion. Okay. Yeah. FX, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I now, like a lot of people didn't know about Legion, but Legion was on some other. I like that analogy. And that was a great show, oh, too. Yes, it yeah. was. Gone too soon. Or, hey, it could merge. I don't know. Gone in 60 seconds. Yeah. You ain't lying. <laughs> FX. I mean, that is Disney, though. They they own that. Yeah. <sighs> you, you ain't lying. Star. Star Plus. Yeah. Yeah. Well. We got this episode, which is episode five. Yes. Meaning that means we got one more episode after this one. That's true. Let's go ask him. Let's go ask him. <laughs> Let's go enjoy the second to last ride. Facts. This is all your fault. Calm down, Mark. Damn. Mark, I didn't shoot you. Your mind is violently vacillating between sense and nonsense. Wow. Picture this, all right? Your brain is a pendulum swinging between a very difficult reality that you are my patient here at Putnam Medical Facility in Chicago, Illinois, and a reassuring fantasy that you've created on your own. They will often build places to seek shelter for different aspects of the self from the most traumatic memories. It's called just an organizing principle. Some people, they see a, a castle, right? Somebody else will see a maze or a library. A side floor? Yeah. Or it could He's be. freaking selling this, man. He's, Oscar is killing his role. What I find extremely interesting is this new, um, the new animal character. Um, the Lepatinus. I mean... I always pay you a lot of money in, in this place. You know, You're really good. I tell you what, I feel like a million dollars. Never felt so good. I want to see myself out there. Doctor, no, you're not. Listen, Mark, be gentle with him. Be gentle with him. Listen, I am not your enemy. Yo. Situation up for me. Well, Tight. Just a second ago, I thought that I'd been shot to death. I know somebody oh, looked like that too. This will really break your I'm not lying. I think you were just taking a little time out. I'm afraid you are. Braids and all. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, <boy. laughs> I'm dead. We're dead. Yes. Yes, Mark. I think <laughs> can't get out my head now. <laughs> Shoulders and everything. Actually, wow. Is impossible for the human mind to comprehend. Right. You may perceive this realm as something more easily recognizable to you. A psych ward's a first for me, but <laughs> hey, you can roll with it, right? Um, why would we imagine this realm to be a psychiatric hospital? Because we're insane. <sighs> Dead bird, you're outside of my body now, and now the afterlife, right? That's the monk. That's the reality. Monk. And this is the hospital. That's the. Wow, he's doing a phenomenal job. Sorry. Oh. Stunning. What is this? Oh. This is the underworld. I'm not crazy. I'm dead. Where did you say we're going? We're sending to our rooms. Uh, to feel the breeze, right, Tom Eddie? Oh, so he's the smart one, hey? Well, if your heart's balanced in life, then you will spend eternity in paradise. The field of reeds. But uh, before we get there, I, I've just got to do a quick little. Uh... What? 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 What?
meet you wearing a blow your chest wide open. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. This is crazy. She's weighing our hearts on the scales of justice and the feather of truth. See, the ancient Egyptians believed that the heart was, was the sign of who you really were in life. If the scales balance by the time you end the journey, then a soul is permitted to pass into a field of reeds. What if you don't balance? You get thrown overboard. Whee! The dead will drag you down into the duat, where you will remain forever, frozen in sand. Whoa. That's wild. We can flash back five episodes in. <laughs> hey, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna like revisit every single memory I've ever had. Do you remember this? Yeah. I don't know. It's the street. You know how many streets have you walked down your whole life? Yeah. See, that wasn't him. That wasn't him. Mm hmm. Dennis Min is over there. A child in a room filled with people that you've killed. Don't go near him. What's your name? Oh, hold on there. Wait a moment. Wait, wait a moment. Come on, now wait. Yo. Open the door. Open the door. Mom? Who's ready? Who's hungry? Roro? Mom, go check on my dolly. He threw the fish with only one fin. Mark, be nice to your little brother. I have a brother. What? We'll eat later. What? No. Okay. So this is when they run into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> hey, Georgie boy. Hey, hey, you. Should I do, Rosa? Sounds to me like dang. Gang verse. Don't to grunt. Mom said not to when it's raining. It'll be fine. Won't be a baby. You'll float too. <laughs> it started raining, right? Right. Oh Forget my god. Forget it, bro. Paper sailboat. He coming. Georgie, wait. Where are you going in cave? <laughs> This is too good. It's coming. I see Bill Scar's guard. I'm blowing up. Oh, shoot. He was a kid. I want my Roro back. I would help anyone. Sad. That's really sad, man. Damn. You. <laughs> she got that look. Me? Come on, buddy. You were supposed to keep him safe. Stephen, let's go. Let him drown. This is all your fault. This is all your wow. fault. Wow. Come here. Stop, stop. Don't go up there. She way out of line. Yeah. Give responsibility to a child. Wendy, please. And daddy just sitting there letting her say oh. We're just about to blow out the candles now. I understand though, but it's over at that point. I've never seen that before. Mom's just like said forget the firstborn. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Woo! A second. Steven! So it makes Steven. sense why he made up the multiple personalities. Out. <laughs> Bingo. She drove him crazy. Yeah. That's your favorite cake. <laughs> and 
And since he didn't get to fully experience his brother, he created personas. Which is yeah. Steven. Damn, Mark. I want to see what happened in that room. <laughs> Shoot. Putting it all on the table. Let me back in there. What are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Mark, son, please come inside. She will get help. We will fix this. You're supposed to fix this. I mean, why haven't you? Yup. I cannot lose a little son. Please. You should not see her. Damn, Mark. <laughs> it's getting good. This. We're watching the grassy next generation. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Oscar Isaac is killing this right now. Yeah, he's incredible. Do your worst. I need that Zordon in my life, bro. I want life. <laughs> that Zordon, bro. I feel it. Fractured. Broken. Most fascinating. You are a worthy candidate to serve me during this time. It was just a way for me to keep the end what I've always been. The killer. Dope. Do you swear to protect the travelers of the night? And bring my vengeance to those who would do them harm. Yeah. Look. The scales. Have we done it? Have we balanced them? Then rise. Rise and live again. As my fist of vengeance. Oh. Ah. <laughs> That's tight. Man, I want powers. Epic. <laughs> Rise. Epic. That was an Ultra Beast moment. You feel me? This is my room. I remember some things, but I don't remember this. He got nunchucks and stuff. Yeah, he was ready all along. Got physic books in the room and junk. Bloody hell. Look at the state of this place. Better sort it out before mom sees it. Wow. She did. Oh, so she did. Yes. That's not meant to see that. You're not meant to see that. That's the whole point of you. Damn. That's sad. He loved his mom. She hated him, dude. She didn't love him back. Yeah. 
Oh, you thought I forgot about you, little homie? <laughs> Good. Oh, okay. I thought he was about to go in there. Wait! Wait! Steven! Run! Wait! Run, keep coming! Oh. Keep the fuck up! Stop the bus! Wait! Yeah. Wait! Okay. Oh. Oh. was off balance with Steven. So this is what's gonna unlock the third. This is dope. Of course, they would end it right there. Oh my gosh. That was too good. That was good. That was good. Wow. Yeah, this is a Woo! Episode. Now, that's what I call story driven yeah. episode. This was a psychological episode right here, mm -hmm. all the way through. You got a better understanding of Mark this time around. Mm -hmm. uh, the flashbacks broke down his childhood and who he was as a person and why he became that way. So that was that brought like a whole new life. So it was just all about keeping his sanity and trying to not be alone all the time due to the relationship, the short lived relationship with him and his brother. That was interesting. That's crazy, man. Um, just seeing the trauma, you know, kids go through, you yeah. know, um, and I feel, even though we know it's fiction, but yeah. there's kids that go through this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm so disappointed in the father character and that whole situation, man. He let that drunken woman beat that child up. He said nothing. When she said it was all yours, she... No. Why do you put that kind of weight and pressure on a kid like that? Like, he allowed her to be a savage. And I understood she was going through something, but she needed help. Yeah. She needed help. She was help. damaged, too, mentally. She was damaged. I mean, she yeah. lost her baby. Yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. But you still got one. And she casted him out, and he had to make a separate persona, bro. I... Yeah. So what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's like now you kind of you warrant the personalities now. You like you, you welcome them now. It's before it was like oh, okay, it's cool it's mystique, but now it's a it's a survival element now. It's survival for him. He went off balance when his mama died. Yeah, it, it that keeps him sane the multiple traits. That that keeps him going. Cuz he hasn't been Steven in years. When once he right. left. Yeah. There was no point. Yeah. Then when his mama died, he went right back to that. And that's when he said we 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 started Switching over again. And then the whole psych war thing, the doctor unlocked all of that and he started going through memories of the past, the present. That's wild. And I like how each room represented a different persona. That's pretty tight. I like the fact that he did confront his father when he was leaving. Yeah. I really do. I, this is great acting dialogue, man. Yeah. Good, very good storytelling. Loving it. Very well read. By far to me, even though I enjoyed the first episodes. This right here, my favorite episode. Okay. This is my favorite episode. Well, we this got one. one more. I know. But, but I'm with you, though. This is my favorite episode. 
it's just it just had so much it unlocked the character so much and you know uh you know we heard a a, a lot of things about the moon knight people were mad about steven's personality and why he was gotcha. this way and everything i ain't gonna lie steven's coming back and he might not be the one that we originally got on this True. he might be the savage that we got moving forward yeah I, I, this is this is probably one of those shows where you gotta let it let it unravel itself. Just like go with the mystery aspect of it. Mm-hmm. And I'm cool that they they switch things up. You know they're they're bringing in the new the new readers and stuff like that. So it's cool. Like they're they're still keeping basis to the core, but I think they're speeding it up. But they're still kind of slowing it down at the same time. And you know it's crazy because when you when you go back to a lot of the fans of Moon Knight that didn't approve of the show because of the way Steven was presented. You know, Stephen was sheltered, per se, right? Yeah. He is no longer sheltered. Right. He might get gritty. He has to start fighting. He just fought. Yeah. He might. He might become what y'all with with the original Stephen Grant. You you yeah. guys like? Because what I'm seeing is you just I just watched a broken man expose his broken life to his second persona. Right. And the persona didn't even blame him. Yep. And it's kind of like, it wasn't your fault. I understand you now. You might end up getting what y'all wanted. I ain't lying. Because yeah. Steven's coming back. It just took time to get there. And they had to get these things out of the way so that we can get to that extra stuff. So I, I'm cool with it, man. It's just a matter of, uh, you know, what other personalities are going to bring in and how many are they going to introduce to us. Because yeah. there's a lot of them. But uh, I, I like the pacing of what they're doing. Because I can understand... As like newcomer or reader, it can be overwhelming mm-hmm. to give us all of that in one episode. So they're slowly pacing it, and I'm okay with that. I'm I'm enjoying every bit of this ride. Um, I would love to know what you guys thought about this episode. Now I know this episode might not work for many, but it will work for a lot. Right. And I would love to know what your what you guys' opinion is about the episode called the Asylum. I think they they really broke down this asylum. Uh, can't wait to see episode six. Yeah. And see how that plays out when he comes back and how Layla is going to welcome him, how she's going to take knowing the information that she received about her father dying near the hands of Mark and just seeing if a third persona is going to show up because it is what it is. Maybe when he when he when he reunites, the Moon Knight might bring back Steven. I don't know, but I, I'm really excited about uh, the next episode. Um, this is by far uh, to me. Marvel's best show, okay, because yeah. it it's it's literally giving me something. It, it still has a history factor, breaking down the gods and what they do and why they do what they do, which I really enjoy. And it's just Oscar Isaac is just phenomenal, they, hands down. Giving him a lot of things to do with the source material. He's doing a lot. He's doing a lot. He's carrying the show, and he's doing such a great job at it, man. Yeah, Shout uh, you out know to what? Him and Ethan Hawk. Even though the show ain't over. <laughs> Oscar, you get one of these, bro. Yeah. Man. That that's premium gold acting. This is I what happens when you take a cinema actor and put him on TV. Oh yeah. TV movie. I want more of this. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to get it. Okay. Wait. This this is the top of the barrel. We yeah. got we got we have a platform right now. Yeah. We have some blueprints to go with. True. I like this, man. Now now I could see them doing a Professor Xavier series now. Or, so I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. Or like we were talking about Legion, bringing Legion over. Yeah. And then uh, you remember the, the Gifted. <laughs> yeah. That that kind of was that. Yep. But new characters. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, Dang. Fox, they, they own it. They own it, bro. Like, it, this is too easy. Hey, man. <laughs> it's too easy. Just They own all that stuff. Just, give me a, just, just make it a little bit dark. Yeah. You know, call it uh, Marvel at Night. I'm there. Marvel at night. That means you automatically say kids are not allowed. Okay. I'm there. <laughs> That's pretty dope, actually. Sex, drama, drugs, violence, mental state, abuse. <laughs> I'm there. I want to watch that. <laughs> Marvel at night. Marvel at Disney night. Disney Plus original. And what? then you, And then you have, ooh, this is, uh, this is what they really should do. You do Marvel at night, and then you have, uh, uh, hold on, I'm going to get this one. Okay. Marvel at night, and then you have one of the. Who would. Who could tell the stories? Oh. Who would be a great character to tell the stories? We already got the Watcher. 
I don't want to see that anymore. Not like with with the Marvel at night. Uh, is it gonna be like all kind of stories? Yeah, kind of like tales from the crypt. Okay, okay, I like it. I like it. Um, I'm trying to think like what character like as of right now that we have that can do that. That can break into the books. Yeah. And, and, oh. Well, let's leave it for the audience. For those that lasted to the end of this video, if we were to do a Marvel at Night series, who would be the Tales of the Crypt character that would read the stories off of like Hell, uh, 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 Ghost Rider and and yeah. Moon Knight and Blade and and and, and uh, Luke Cage and, and Jessica Jones and Bloodstone, and Bloodstone, and, and, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who would read those stories off? Welcome to Marvel at Night. <laughs> You know what I'm man, <laughs> hey, I'm Woody. Oh snap, bro, I'm there, man. I'm really thinking, like you got me thinking right that'd be, now. That's really dope. Because I, it can't be any of the Avengers. I'm trying to think of characters that are coming in or that are already kind of here that can kind of do I, that. I, 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 I'm seeing it, bro. Or somebody, maybe somebody that brought the team together. Maybe, maybe like Coulson or Nick Fury, because Coulson's kind of technically still alive. Yeah. So I mean, but he's gonna be cool enough to read the stories off. Right, right, right. That's I mean, the thing. That's why I can't. It got, use it got, it got to be a character like, yo, that motherfucker type powers bro. or something. Yeah. yeah. It got to be one of those, man. Hey, you know what? I think I thought of it. Death. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. The real death. Yeah. Yeah. She'll Run sit down out. and she'll be on her chair. And let me tell you about the story. Let me yeah. tell you what's going on. Deadpool, get up out of here. Thanos is coming. <laughs> I'm with it. Uh, <laughs> got something. Yeah, hey, man. I, I'll watch something like that. I'll watch something like that. Gotta get Danny Elfman to do the soundtrack to Marvel at Night. Dum, 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 dum. It'll be toast in the crib. Or, or, yeah. or, 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 or Hans Zimmerman. Yeah. I'm yeah. with it. I'm with it. You know? Yeah. Or even get my boy Knox to do it. You know what I mean? Put him out there, man. You know? Hey, Knox, do the soundtrack, bro. Let's there do it. it let's is. get it. Let's get it. You know what I mean? But uh, I would love to know what you guys thought about this episode and what you guys think about Marvel at Night. I think it's a pretty good idea. Um, if you're new to the channel, go to push that subscribe button. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to share Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Also, follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Yes. I'm J3. We're on the show, guys. Woo! Ninja Assassin. 100,000 subscribers, y'all. We're coming.